Ever wonder why birds can chill on high voltage wires without turning into crispy nuggets? Thousands of volts are buzzing right beneath their toes. Let's solve this shocking mystery. Imagine electricity is like water. Water only rushes down if there's a drop in height. But on totally flat ground, it just sits still. Electricity works the same way. It needs a difference in pressure to flow. Since both bird feet grip the same wire, they're at the exact same voltage level. It's just like that flat river, without a difference in electrical pressure between the left and right foot. The current has zero motivation to zap them. Electricity is actually super lazy. It craves the path of least resistance. The copper wire is like an open highway, while the bird's body is a traffic jam of bones and feathers. So the current ignores the bird and zooms right past. But if a big bird spreads its wings and touches two different wires at once, game over. Since the wires have different voltage levels, the bird becomes a bridge. Current surges right through Zap! The other trap? Touching the wire and the utility pole at the same time. The pole connects to the ground at zero volts. Suddenly, the electricity sees a shortcut and rushes straight through the bird to Earth. You rarely see birds on those massive transmission towers. The voltage is so extreme, it creates an intense static field. It actually makes their feathers stand on end and buzzes it's totally uncomfortable. Bad vibes only. Birds win by sticking to one voltage lane. But since we humans are stuck on the ground, touching a wire completes the circuit of doom. Look up, stay safe, and don't try this at home.